Cronenberger Rosenfeld. Internet law is our domain. One of the biggest complaints we get from our Amazon seller clients is uh, regarding uh, ASIN hijacking. And this is when your competitor takes advantage of your failure to adequately brand your product and protect your IP to list the competitor's identical product using your best-selling ASIN and win the buy box. And I'm sure that you're all familiar with uh, this practice. Um, here we have an example of... Uh, just a random ace, and this isn't from one of our clients, and we apologize if it's yours, but um, that appears to be being uh, hijacked or at least used, where uh, the listing is by X chords. If you look in the lower uh, right uh, section, the circled amount, you can see that X chord does have this particular charge chord available for sale, but the one that the person who has the buy box, the seller is we charge because they have the lower price. And so WeCharge has jumped in here on uh, Xcord's uh, ASIN. Now, there are different kinds of uh, ASIN hijacking. Um, the example we just showed is merely competitive, but it becomes unlawful when it rises to the level of counterfeiting. And that's when your competitor hijacks your ASIN to sell a knockoff of your product or any product that is not identical to the one that you listed. So in the prior example, if WeCharge is selling that exact uh, uh, cord, it's merely competitive. It's not counterfeiting. But we have a few examples of counterfeiting here. So here we have, and again, we don't know that any of these sellers are doing this, but if you were to buy, if the user were to buy this anchor, um, a portable charger under this particular listing, but receive something that's not the product that was advertised, then the seller who sold that uh, non-conforming product to the buyer is engaging in counterfeiting. This is no different than thinking that, than buying a Rolex and getting a non-Rolex watch uh, in exchange. Uh, both are counterfeiting because in each case the product is different than what the buyer thought he or she was buying. There's no difference just because the purchase might not have been a brand decision for the buyer in terms of the buyer might not have just been specifically trying to buy an anchor uh, a portable charger, they just wanted a portable charger. They might not be as likely to complain to Amazon, they might not even realize that they got a different product than what they, buy, they bought but it still is counterfeiting on the part of the seller who, who jumped on that ASIN to sell a non-conforming product. So let's go into the legal definition of counterfeiting. Counterfeiting is when a forged trademark is placed on a product that's not the, the real product, not the legitimate product that's owned by the trademark owner. Believe it or not, uh, counterfeiting is a crime and it carries uh, possible jail time. Uh, also, if someone else engages in counterfeiting and then sells you the product, you could be liable for counterfeiting as well, even though you are not the person who apply that forged mark to the product. And here's, here's an example of um, that type of trademark counterfeiting where a, a forged trademark is placed on the product. Now, we're all familiar with this. We might have bought at some point in our lives a fake like Louis Vuitton bag or something that we knew was um, a counterfeit product. That doesn't mean that it's not counterfeiting just because the consumer is aware. So in this example, if you were to buy an anchor um, USB cord, and you can see that in the listing, the product does have anchors trademark on it, and you receive one from a seller that's not anchor and a seller who's not selling legitimate anchor products, but the seller or the seller's manufacturer has applied the anchor trademark without permission, then that is trademark counterfeiting. Uh, and it is uh, both buying a product that's completely different than the one that was advertised to you and buying a product that has a forged trademark on it or counterfeiting, but trademark counterfeiting is definitely more serious under the law. And buying a cord like this that has a forged uh, mark on it is no different than buying, no different than buying a fake Rolex. Um, so both are trademark counterfeiting because in each case the product falsely purports to be the genuine product of the trademark owner. And there's no difference 
um, even if the customer has reason to know that they're purchasing um, a counterfeited product. Uh, one other example of counterfeiting that we don't really go into here is UPC code counterfeiting, and that's where you forge the UPC code of a, the owner of the UPC code without their permission. It's not an issue that we see arising in the Amazon context a lot because Amazon allows uh, sellers to forego the use of UPCs for the use of ASINs alone, but it's something that you should be aware of as counterfeiting as well. So counterfeiting is a form of ASIN hijacking. Uh, for purposes of this, we're going to isolate the type of ASIN hijacking that is not counterfeiting versus the type that is counterfeiting. Now, Amazon takes a different approach to ASIN, just pure ASIN hijacking and counterfeiting. Through the buy box, Amazon actually encourages ASIN competition between sellers of an identical product because it drives prices down and that makes their buyers happy and improves their sales. However, if the ASIN hijacking involves counterfeiting by your competitor, that is their product is not identical to the one that is listed, uh, Amazon will not tolerate it because it causes consumer confusion and is illegal. And so we've prepared this chart to kind of explain when is it permittable ASIN hijacking and when is it unlawful counter Fitting. And the first example would be if seller A has an ASIN for a generic HDMI cable with no branding, it's black, seller B jumps on that listing to sell the exact same cable, that is just ASIN hijacking, it's not counterfeiting, and it's perfectly okay both under the law and within the Amazon seller framework. Uh, second example, seller A has an ASIN for a generic six-foot HDMI cable. Seller A does not apply any branding to this cable. However, Seller B hijacks it to sell a five-foot cable, so it's different than the one that was listed uh, in the product listing. That is counterfeiting. It is unlawful. It is not okay. Third instance, Seller A, who owns the trademark Acme, has an ASIN for an Acme HDMI cable, but there's no Acme actually on the cable. Uh, seller B hijacks... Um, the ASIN to sell a similar cable, but does not apply the branding to the cable. It's still counterfeiting. Finally, the worst instance is where seller A owns Acme trademark and has an ASIN for an Acme HDMI cable, and the cable actually has Acme branded on it. Seller B has forged that branding onto their own cable and sells it. This is counterfeiting. It's trademark uh, counterfeiting, and it's unlawful and against uh, the Amazon seller terms.